Hi guys, it's Neo here from the Panda Products Team channel bringing you a Computers for Dummies Lesson 4. So what we're going to be looking at in this lesson is how to perform a disk cleanup. So this is a great way to free up um, space on your computer to make it a little bit faster and it doesn't require much skill at all to do and in this lesson we'll be talking about what it is, how to perform it, what are the benefits of doing it, um, just to make sure that you're all aware that it exists. Um, so firstly what you want to do is head to the start button. Again I'm using Windows 7 so this could be slightly different for you users who are using Windows XP or earlier. If we head to all programs and accessories we want to head down to system tools here and then if we scroll down a little bit we want disk clean up here. So when you click the disk clean up this comes with all installs of Windows so you don't worry if you um, can't find it it will be there somewhere and um, it will pop up with a message saying select the drive you want to clean up now most PCs will only have one drive because um, if you buy them brand new nine times out of ten they'll only come with one hard drive so the one that you most commonly see is what's known as C drive this is the drive that gets stored all the system information on and it's sort of the go-to drive um, for your operating system. As you can see it's got the little Windows logo so you know that this is where Windows is installed on. Again if you have multiple um, hard drives, if you've bought a more advanced PC for those sort of advanced users that want to select different drives you'll get a drop down with any other drives that are installed on your computer so I've got an A drive and a B drive and a C drive so I'm only interested really in um, getting C drive cleaned up as that's where all the programs will be installed on your computer and it tends to be generally where everything's kept so if we click OK it'll calculate how much space you'll need to be able to free on the on the hard drive so this can take a few minutes and it, depending on how old your PC is um, it could take a few hours um, it's worth doing this every so often just to free up memory so as we can see here um, there's a variety of items ticked already um, you can also change this as well I'm going to put offline web pages on because I don't really use offline web pages and temporary files so as you can see down the right hand side there's a variety of um, different numbers on here that explain how much memory is being used by these files that aren't being used on your computer. So the way Windows determines it is how long it was since the last time that file was used and from where it's located as well. So if you imagine every time you go on, an int on your web browser and you type something into Google or go on a different web page all that information is then stored on your computer as a convenient way so when you go back to it it means it's faster to load because it's got a lot of information already stored on your computer about that website now there may be websites that you go on that you only go on the once um, and you never ever go back on them again that information is still stored on your computer um, because it, your computer automatically um, saves it and this is known as a computer cache so again most web browsers have web caching set to on already so this will automatically save any information that you go on on websites to your computer just for the convenience so in one respect it means that you can view web pages quicker in another it also takes up a little bit of memory every time you go onto different web pages and websites so again we want to remove all this information because to be fair when you go on a website again the the difference in load times now is pretty much minimal so we're going to just click on OK here and it will say are you sure you want to permanently delete these files we want to click delete files so as you can see now the computer is working its magic and get rid of all those files that we no longer need and this will also free up um, space on your hard drive to use for other useful things like storing um, documents or important photos and files on there I hope you learned something and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do have any questions or queries about this video then please post them in the comment section and I'll try and answer everyone if I can. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.